The GOAT, Michael Jordan, versus the shortest NBA player ever, Muggsy Bogues. That's a mismatch if we've ever seen one. Add to that His Majesty's majestic trash talk, and you got yourself one hell of a basketball story. The setting for one of the most ultimate trash talks in history is, quite fittingly, the playoffs. It's the 1995 first round, and the Hornets are up against the Bulls. Charlotte is trailing by one, with Muggsy Bogues in possession. The larger-than-life, and his size, guard backs down Michael Jordan. MJ, in one of the most MJ moments ever, yells his head out, Shoot it, you midget! Muggsy shoots, doesn't even come close. The GOAT wins not only this instantaneous exchange, but the game, by dropping 48 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists, while Bogues struggles with 6 points and 10 assists, lower than his career average in terms of scoring. The Bulls went on to win the series 3-1, and Charlotte threw in the towel early in the playoffs. But according to former Hornets assistant coach Johnny Bach, who tells us this whole story, that wasn't the only loss the Hornets had to suffer. According to Bach, who served as the assistant coach to Bulls a couple of years prior, Michael Jordan ruined the rest of Muggsy Bogues' career in the NBA by breaking his shot to the point of no recovery. Now, one thing about MJ and the stories related to his vicious nature is that they're so easy to tell and sell. Sometimes the line between story and myth might blur. And honestly, this might be one of those cases. Hear us out. MJ ruining Bogues' shot seems to be genuine, at least on paper, as the veteran guard's points per game dropped after the incident until the end of his career. That's pretty much it in terms of the authenticity of the story, at least when you hear it out from Bogues himself who had this to say about the whole affair. That's one of the most craziest, most asinine stories that you can hear. I think about all the stuff that I've been hearing all my life, and here it is. I'm, what, 10 years into my career already, and somebody says something and it's going to affect my career? It don't make no sense. Muggsy Bogues. But what happened then? Why was there this drop in Bogues' career in terms of minutes played, points, and assists per game, especially in the following two years? Muggsy Bogues' mere presence in the NBA is a statement alone of being up for a challenge. So, no, the veteran is not trying to sugarcoat the loss against MJ. What caused these significant drops in performance was related to the guard's knee injury. Just after the early exit in the playoffs, Bogues had to go through a series of medical examinations, and after that, his whole role in the league had to be optimized. A veteran player with a heavy load of over 10 years in the NBA on his knees, Bogues had to adapt himself and take on the role of a bench player who tried to impact the game in the short sequences he had the chance to play. And what about the trash talk part of the story? Did MJ really call him a midget? Well, that's a bit more foggy, as Bogues sometimes refers to the incident by saying, he supposedly called me that and then this and that happened. And other times, he speaks in a rather vague form. I heard trash talk all the time in the NBA. That was and still is a big part of the game. The rumor that MJ ruined my career with an insult is simply not true. We were competitors. We threw around insults during games, but it was never personal. Muggsy Bogues. At least it's good to know that no feelings were hurt during the supposed exchange. The GOAT left the game for good 18 years ago, yet his trash talk legacy lives on. And one thing is certain, 180 years from now, there will still be stories about him destroying his opponents, one way or another.